Hello again. This week we replace the cold grey northeasterlies that many of us experienced at the weekend with milder and at times brighter southwesterlies. But with these southwesterlies, we will see wetter and windier weather at times as well. And for the rest of today, a lot of cloud cover ahead of the unsettled conditions, increasingly breezy and wet in the north. In fact, it's already been raining for Scotland and Northern Ireland. This is the rainfall radar from earlier in the day, and you can see some heavy rainfall just lined up there to cross northern parts of the country through the rest of Monday. Ahead of it, areas of cloud for much of England and Wales, but there will be some brightness for East Anglia, southern counties of England, some sunshine coming through. The breeze picks up, though, during the afternoon, and we'll see the rain become persistent and heavy at times for Northern Ireland, for Cumbria later on, and for much of Scotland, especially Western Scotland. As the wind picks up as well, it's not going to feel very pleasant under that uh, driving wind and rain, but a milder feel, I think, compared to the weekend for central and southern parts of the UK. Now into the evening, the rainfall continues to pile up for western Scotland, Cumbria, for Northern Ireland as well. Uh, the Mourne Mountains could see 80 mils plus Mountains of Western Scotland, more than 100 mils plus in some exposed spots. Yellow warnings in force for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Elsewhere, it's going to turn wet across parts of England and Wales, mainly through the evening and then the early hours of Tuesday as a cold front moves through. But with the wind and the rain picking up through the night, of course, it's not going to be a chilly night. Temperatures in the double figures by and large. Now, the weather fronts move north and east across the country during Tuesday, but wrapped around this low is an increasingly windy setup and uh, some blustery showers to come for much of Tuesday. So, outbreaks of rain for Scotland, for central and eastern England to start off Tuesday, but it quite quickly brightens up. There will be some sunshine there for southern Scotland, for much of England and Wales, before some very blustery showers or longer spells of rain push into Northern Ireland, western Scotland, western parts of England and Wales. Gales for exposed parts of Cornwall, West Wales and Irish Sea coasts. But it's a milder day on Tuesday compared to Monday. 18 degrees the high there and any brighter spells for southeast England. It stays wet and dreary across the far north of Scotland. And you can see these outbreaks of rain or showers pushing into central parts of Scotland. And then another plume of showery activity into Wales and the southwest by Tuesday evening. So uh, a lot of weather about during the next few days. There will be some brighter and milder conditions in between the rain or showers. But yes, yeah, certainly an autumnal feel to come with areas of low pressure at times this week. And you can keep up to date with all of it by following us on social media. Bye bye.